about retrospectives. So I was telling people the other day, I gave a lecture on Monday, right? Told all these people how to do this stuff. And one of the things that a lot of teams aren't doing retrospectives. I'm like, why aren't you doing retrospectives? But anyway, in a retrospective, you're just supposed to find one little tiny thing you want to fix. Here's my methodology. All I need is a little tiny 2% change or 1%. I don't care. Give me 1%. But something that changes something like, let's say 2%, real 2%. If I was able to do 2% for 26 sprints, by the time I got done, I would have a what 52% improvement in process. What manager would not be super happy if they got a 52% improvement in their organization. Seriously, really? But all I'm looking for a little change. So I'm not looking for dramatic change, like, voila, right? I'm just looking for a little tiny, little tiny, little tiny, little like the clock, 2%, little 2%, little one minute, one minute on that clock, right? Change. It's not even one minute. I guess it's 60. You know, we got to make the clock a a lot bigger and then and then it's like two two clocks and I just need I just need two minutes right um that's all it is and the reason why I say that a little tiny change makes 52 percent after a year of doing sprints so in the BD session you talked about there's a lane a slow lane where you make change and he's like you only pick one story and it's so funny I was laughing because that's what I tell people all the time just one little story that you can do a process improvement. The team does a little process improvement, one a couple, one or two people, maybe they do some pair program or figure something out. And they say, we're working together, we're gonna figure this out, this new tech, right? How to do this new process. At the end of the sprint, they demo the new process to their team and tell them whether or not it worked or didn't work and it's not gonna benefit. Sometimes it doesn't work, but at least they gave it a shot. And it's just one little story. So. One little experiment, a small little piece. I mean, I had one group the other day. They're learning about, um, you know, Sonar Cube or um, you want to call it code sniffing or, or, or syntax testing, right? And they haven't done it. I finally convinced them, look, you got some new people. Have them run the Sonar Cube, do the syntax testing uh, on the code so one, they can learn the code, they get familiar with the code. They can practice a new tool, you know, they can give it a shot and just get part of the group and give feedback and present, right? So this is a new person within the first week, they're doing all this stuff. So they did it. They're, they said, oh, it wasn't really that hard. I'm like, yeah, it's not that hard. But they did a little change and now they're spreading across the whole team. That person demoed in the next sprint, they're all going to do it. So in my opinion, that's like a little 2% change. Now they're not going to have all these little lousy syntax errors and bugs they potentially could take out their code. So again, just a 2% change becomes 52% change by the end of the year. Now in the real scrum, you do twice as much work at half the time. I'm telling you, it's not going to be just 52% change. It's going to be 52% and up. It's going to curve up on an improvement um, because it'll take you half the time to do the work. So, you improve your process and in the end, the end it'll be a lot quicker and less time fixing bugs. Anyway. Oh, we're live. Oh, pardon. I was dancing. My hair's a little scratch. I need a haircut. I'm getting like my picture with the little thing sticking out. That's me, right? Hey, good morning. Happy day.